Hey guys, today I'm going to do a bit more of an intermediate tutorial. Uh, it's, uh, we're going to focus on data transfer for shading issues, uh, mainly because I want to remember it myself. So I thought it'd be better to uh, make a quick tutorial so I can watch it back myself. So basically we want, this is our low poly game asset here, and we want to make the shading better like the one on the right, um, so for better for LODs and stuff. So. We're going to use the information from a cylinder, as you can see on the left, and to get this. So let's get started. Right, so we got this cake mold shape going on, our low poly game asset. As you can see, this is kind of the topology of it. Let's turn on the um, the face normals, make them small so we can see where they're pointing. Um, we want to fix this shading around the outside. As you can see, it's got all this weird shading going on because of the, the shape of it. And we want to make this nice and smooth, ready for LODs um, in the game engine. So we're going to basically create, do Shift A and add a cylinder. Um, make sure it's got nothing on the cap fill type. Sh shrink it down. Or to smooth it to 180. Shrink it down, doesn't matter. Right, so we want this kind of shade in around the outside of this. Because this bumps are going to be no good. So how do we do it? We basically <coughs> select our mesh, do... Um, Alt click on say the middle one or whatever and control plus to select the around sections so we want these ones um, we want to go to the vertex and make a vertex group we're just going to leave this group and we're going to assign it so we just have, we just want to affect this section so we're going to I'm just going to leave the name this group go on to modifiers uh, data transfer we want to source the cylinder uh, we want the group to be the group we've just made we want face corner data and we want custom normals. It looks weird at the minute, but basically just turn off this object transform and change it to nearest face interpolated. It looks like the nice one. We'll check projected face. No, it's still got issues. We want nearest face will be the best one, I think, for it. Yeah, that's perfect. So we just apply that. We can delete that now. So now we need to fix the other shading areas that we've got. Um, obviously I got sharps on these sections. So with these ones at the bottom, all you have to do is alt click it, then press alt N and set from faces, but make sure keep sharp edges is selected. And we can do that with the one on the around the outside. And we can do it with this one on the center and do it with these ones as well. Uh, now we just need to fix the top. So we need the all these sections in the top to face upwards, really. So we're going to add in a uh, plane to get that information. Basically, basically just going to copy the information of a plane. So if we, I'll shrink it down so you can understand it a bit more. If I zoom, if I do that, you can see all the face normals of the plane are looking straight up. So we can copy this data. So we just Alt N on it, copy the vector data on our model here. Um, we'll select all the ones we want to put it on again and press Alt N and paste. There now you can see they're all facing upwards on the face normals, and that's kind of what it looks like. It looks a lot cleaner and easier for shading um, going forward, and it looks really nice. You know, if you've got to do the same for the underneath, like uh, if you want to face down. You just you could use a plane again, just rotate it 180 and then you'll see the face normals are as long as you apply the rotation, the face normals are facing down and then you can just do ones on the bottom if that's the case with your model. But yeah, that's the way of using data transfer and just fixing the normal shading issue. Um as I said, it was a bit more of an intermediate level tutorial, mainly for my own recollection as well. If you enjoyed that video, if it was useful to you, please do a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will keep making more videos. Thanks guys for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.